Uh, what is going on, buddy? Hello. It is Pixel Partners here, and welcome back to 999. When we left off, we had begun our adventure, escaped our first little tutorial room with a little bit of knowledge ahead of time. Yeah. Thanks to another game. And now we've met everyone and learned the rules of the game. And someone has decided to break them a little bit, going yeah. through that door, and we can hear beeping coming through the door. I'm sure that's the positive outcome. Mm -hmm. I wonder if maybe he was in the game before, and maybe door number five is the way that he got out in the previous one, so we just borrowed everyone we needed to to finish that prime number and was like, all right, I'm gone, see you fuckers. No, I think he's just smart and stupid at the same time. Well, the game made the point to point out, I was like, why, how does he know this is what's happening? Because he already knew to to verify their identities with their watches on the door. Like, he knew what was going on. I don't know. But I think he only had previous experience on it. And Maybe that's now he was a genius. Going against him. What is it? Shit, why is it stopping? God damn it! You lied! Lied? This wasn't supposed to happen! This is wrong! This is wrong! Huh. What is happening in there? Open the door, please! I'm begging you. Help me, please! Get me out of here! Get me out of here! God damn it! Engaged. <laughs> why? Why won't it work? Engaged? Is it because it's occupied? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! There's no time left. It was I too. He lied to me. He put me in here. It was him. He killed me. It was him. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Yeah, that uh Thankfully these doors are hefty. Huh. Um A beep? <laughs> Did that thing just make that sound? Oh, it's probably not <laughs> exactly vacant. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, it's vacant of living souls. The display changed from engaged to vacant. Let's see if we can open it. I guess the marriage is off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> yeah. Engaged to <laughs> Well, it registered my bracelet number. But it won't open with one person. We need at least two more people. What to do? Okay, so... Okay, so we got math here. Can I even open up my thing? I can. Oh. So we're going to have five... Um, I can try and always Ace do... What plus eight would be not... Um, okay, it's already actually done the math for us. We just pick who we want to go with us. Because oh. all of these will equal 14 with us added on to it. That's why it's one eight two seven three six. Yeah. It's just moving it around. So do we want Snake and Seven. Santa or Santa in June. I am going with Santa because that's how it's pronounced in Japanese and it sounds... A hell of a lot better than Santa. <laughs> or Ace and Lotus. Mm. Lotus never wants to open these fucking doors in the first place. She doesn't. Um, but I like Ace a lot. Man, whatever. Um, That would just be both me. <laughs> both my voices. I kind of want to do Ace and Lotus. Okay. I like them. Even if Lotus is going to be like... Um, I like Santa a Ace, lot, though. Ace, Lotus... You think you can give me a hand here? No. You fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh well, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> 5 plus 1 plus 8 equals 14. The digit root 14, 1 plus 4 equals 5. This should do it. Now we just need to pull the lever on the side. If it were me, I would have picked Santa and June. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh well, are you guys ready? I'm gonna open it. <laughs> There's blood on the inside of those doors. Ooh. Oh my god. Good god. Whoa, that's pretty bad. He he blew up. It's ah! a lot of blood in there. Close it, close it! <laughs> June, are you okay? Uh. What the hell? Where'd this fever come from? Alright, let's just rest a minute, okay? You think you can walk? Hmm. Here we go. <laughs> How are you feeling? Are you all right? You just saw an exploded body. Are you okay? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why? Why did this happen? 
Why did this happen? Do any of you know what the fuck is going on here? Who's Zero? What's this nonary game? Come on, anybody. Anything. What the hell is going on? What are we doing here? <sighs> We've already wasted an hour. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was nonary. It's one of the two. Nonary. I'll say nonary from now on when I remember. Yeah. It's 10 o'clock then. That means it's been an hour since Zero's little announcement. Fuck, I've had enough of this crap. How long are we gonna pussyfoot around like this? We've only got eight hours until this time limit Zero is going on about is up. Let's get going already. Go, go! No, I refuse. I'm not going to end up like him. Him? You mean the ninth man? Of course, who else? Blood. Blood and <laughs> pieces of flesh. He went kaboom. <laughs> That's no way for a person to die. At least it was fast. Ugh. I think he just screwed up. He probably set off some sort of trap and that killed him. I'm not gonna screw up like that. I'm getting out of here alive. Uh... Oh, snake. That's the blood. <laughs> What's so goddamn funny? Oh, my apologies. You were just so very confident. I couldn't help myself. What the fuck? It's funny. I literally almost said what the fuck. <laughs> I think you've mistaken the situation. Huh? The ninth man's death it had nothing to do with a trap. Or at least not the sort of trap you imagined it did. Then... He broke one of Zero's rules. And that was why he died. Quite simple if you think about it. What? You still don't? <laughs> All right. <laughs> How about you take that a moment face. and think back to what Zero said? Specifically, what did he say about the number of people? He said only three to five people can pass through one numbered door, right? And after that, you've forgotten the relevant part. What did Zero say? Huh? I don't have vision, so I remember things better because I have less senses. I have less to get distracted by. Zero said... Um... That everyone ver who verified had to go, yeah. All those who enter must leave and all who enter must contribute, right? I think it was something like that. Whatever it was, it means that groups of less than three or more than five can't go through. That is correct. A gold star for you, Junpei. Mm. The ninth man, however, broke that rule. He tried to pass through a numbered door by himself. That was why he was executed. Bro, why you gotta be so pretentious in a situation like this? To me, like, with the way he was acting, I thought that he was... When I heard there were people that were already in the game, I feel like he's one that's probably been through before. Because even though he's blind, he's acting so calm in this entire thing. Like, yeah. it in his first rodeo. I'd say if... I don't think anyone else has been involved in one. I'd say maybe just the ninth man, whose name we'll never know. Nine, I guess we'll call him in the future. And then... Snake over here. Everyone else seems to be... Or they could be lying. Yeah. I don't know. The Zero's watching us from somewhere. Make sure we don't break any rules. Oh, I'm not so sure of that. Why not? Because this execution system is entirely automatic. You didn't notice? There's no need for him to monitor us. What do you mean? Very well. I see it must be me who tells you. I've waited long enough, I suppose. I hope Zero might spare me the trouble, but... That seems increasingly unlikely. Do you know something? Well, I know a great many things, but yes. What is it you know? Huh. Here. I don't trust him. A card? What does it say? See for yourself. What, do you think I can fucking read it? <laughs> Come on now, what's the point of giving me this? Give me that. Huh? The hell is this? Give me that. <laughs> huh. I see. Give me that. No. <laughs> oh, it's fucking Braille. <laughs> oh. I can't read that from here. I can't read that if you want. I, I did not train myself to learn Braille, unfortunately. No. Nope. This is Braille. Sorry, guys. I can't read this. Here, have it back. Okay, that was fun. What's so important about that card? I found it in my pocket. I can only assume it is a message from Zero. From zero? No. A message. What does it say? I'm not panicking Calm anymore. Calm down now. No. <laughs> no need to panic. 
<laughs> you don't need to force me. I'll read it. Bracelet number two. Okay. Since you are not blessed with sight, I shall bless you and only you with information. Oh. I shall tell you of the function of the red, of the dead, and of the bracelet. The red dead redemption. <laughs> there is no redemption here. <laughs> the red is the recognition device. Okay. You will verify your number. Beside every number door, you will find a red. The dead is the deactivation device. It is exactly what it says. Once you have passed through the number door, you must use the dead to stop the detonator in your bracelet. But perhaps you are wondering, what does this detonator detonate? I'm afraid this might be something of a surprise. They have placed a small bomb inside of you, and people whom you are about to meet. You swallowed it while you were unconscious. Oh. I have no doubt. Oh wait, that's all. Uh, it says zero, but he's reading yeah. it from his brain right now. So it's oh, oh. F oh no, 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 no. log. I have no doubt that by the time you read this note, the bomb will have passed your stomach and found its way into your small intestine. Oh. So back here. In other words, you'll be unable to regurgitate it. I suggest you do not try. It would be very uncomfortable. Uh. As I mentioned before, the bracelet on your left hand contains a detonator. Think of it as a remote fuse or timer for the bomb in your body. There's only one condition to what, what, which will cause it to detonate. That condition is that you enter number door. Once you've done so, the time will activate no matter who you may be. You'll have 81 seconds. Oh. If, after that time, the detonator has not been deactivated, you'll send a signal to the bomb in your body, instructing it to explode. In order to deactivate the detonator, every person who verified the number at the red must also verify their numbers at the dead. So I guess there's a similar thing on the inside where yeah. they'll have to scan. Once all numbers, yeah, that's what the the dead is. Yeah, there. yeah, it's, yeah. It's a similar device on the other side. And since Homeboy was by himself, <laughs> he scanned it, but nothing would happen after no. that. Once all numbers have been verified by the dead, you need only pull the lever at its side, and the countdown will cease. Anyone who does not verify their numbers at the red will find themselves unable to verify their number at the dead. That is to say, if you should pass through a number door without the first ver without first verifying your number at the red, in 81 seconds. You will be dead. You must also keep in mind that the number doors will close automatically after 9 seconds have passed. As long as the door is open, the dead will not function. You would do well to remember this. Lastly, let's discuss how to remove the bracelets. There are only two ways to do so. See, this is why he was so calm, because he had information. Yeah. One, you've escaped from this ship. Two, your heart rate reaches zero. Oh. In other words, once the bracelet is taken outside the confines of the ship, or detects that it's where his heartbeat has fallen to zero, it will shut down automatically. There's no other way to remove your bracelet. If you attempt to force it off or disable the detonator, the bomb within you will immediately explode. Oh! This is all the information which you can impart to you. How you choose to use it is for you to decide. If used wisely, you can eliminate those who might be a danger for, to you. By the time you will be able to control your fate. I wish you the best of luck. Dang. <laughs> so it's saying... Only those who verify their numbers at the red can pass through the numbered doors. Teams can't add or subtract people after they've scanned in. The reds, deads, and bracelets enforce the rules. They're judge, jury, and executioner. <laughs> Shit, a fucking bomb? Come out! Come out, damn it! I would say you, you, you can just enforce diary and shit saying, it out. Like, Does someone have some fucking Taco Bell? <laughs> There's a bomb inside me. What made Zero think creating this horror show of a game was a good idea? Oh boy. Alright, I'm gonna ask one more time. Do any of you know anything about Zero? It's a number. <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> Oh, actually, I I saw him. I saw Zero when I got grabbed. I didn't see his face, though. Son of a bitch was wearing some kind of gas mask. Samesies! <laughs> yeah. What the hell? Come on, guys, give me something. You know, like, surprise or something? I saw that one, too. Or saw that. I did as well. <laughs> me, too. I didn't see inside the mask, though. That mask, it was really scary. Huh? I thought it was special. 
So all of our abductions were the same. Hmm. We were taken from home at midnight. The person claiming to be Zero had hmm. a mask on. There was white smoke and then each of us passed out. We woke up to find ourselves on D-Deck in a room with a third level bunk. Death Deck. How about you, Seven? The same happened to you? Oh, me? Yeah, well, mine was just like the rest of yours. Okay, it's good enough for now. Something doesn't have to lie, but uh, yeah. press X to doubt, but I can't <laughs> do that yet, so. <laughs> I have a question. <sighs> Snake and Clover, you're both kidnapped from the same room, and you woke up together. Oh. So what's the deal with the two of you anyway? We're siblings. Siblings? There's no... Uh, yes? Snake is my older brother, obviously. That means I'm his little sister. That really so hard to understand. She's correct, of course. Are you surprised? <laughs> well, yeah, but... My, there are other people here with connections to one another. Those two, for instance. Oh, you mean between Chumpy and me? Ah, uh, yes. You did say you were childhood friends, didn't you? You went to school together? Yeah. Well, yeah. Hey, you think maybe we could figure out who Zero is this way? <clears throat> yeah, you're right. You connect the dots between the victims and the leads of the perp. Textbook stuff. Junpei, June, does any of this ring a bell? Ring a bell? A school bell? <sighs> what? No. <laughs> ring a bell? That's what I said. Why are you just <laughs> repeating me? Are you parrots? <laughs> well, perhaps you went to school with the son of a multimillionaire. A millionaire? Will you stop rep- Son? <laughs> uh, they're <laughs> suffering from solid snake syndrome right now. It's fine. Let them be. <sighs> oh, well, someone bought this boat and set up all of this. Set up us the bomb. Whoever Zero is, they must be incredibly rich. Or hijacked an entire, you know- Ship. <laughs> well, we can't be sure of that. To me, this seems as though it's the work of an organization, not an individual. Most likely, Zero is simply a representative of a larger group. What sort of... Uh, what sort of organization? <laughs> it could be a number of things. An army, perhaps, or a research group. Perhaps this is all some sort of psychological experiment. If it is, then it's a pretty fucked up experiment. I mean, come on, a guy's dead. Well, like, really that's fucking a great dead. point. I don't know who the hell this Zero asshole is, but I know for sure he's gonna be pretty fucked up in the head to do all this. If this was all one guy, then he's got some serious issues. You think? Time keeps rolling. Yep. I thought we were finished with that topic. But then what should we do? We should talk it through. Oh my god, enough! All we're doing is talking. Talking won't solve anything. It can't help us find our way out of here. You really sure you want to just sit around? We've only got seven and a half hours left. We already wasted an hour and a half for, for, of our nine hours. <sighs> You're right. Very wow. well then. Really? There's only one way for us to proceed. Should I gotta be fun running around knowing we gotta jump when Zero says jump? <laughs> well, it's stupid to just sit around here doing nothing. Thanks to Snake's card, at least we have some idea of how this all works. Correct. So as long as we follow the rules, we should... Uh... We'll most likely be alright. But... But what? Who's going to go in which door? Oh yeah, that's right. We can't have any more than five people in one door. Nope. All eight of us can't go into the same door. So it seems we will have to split up. But wait! I'm telling you now, there is no way in hell that I'm going into door five. Come now, don't be selfish. Call me whatever the hell you want, I'm not going in there. If I'm going to have to walk through all that blood, then I'd rather stay here. <sighs> and we're doing so well. <laughs> Sorry, but I ain't going in there either. Someone else can go into door five. Oh, Santa, not you too. Hey man, I just bought these shoes. If you think I'm getting some creepy dude's blood all over him? You got another thing coming. Those shoes won't be good when you're dead. <laughs> what the hell, man? Weren't you the one who kept saying we should get going? Yeah, so? Doesn't mean I wanted to go into door five. No, oh, God. I'll go but into I'll any go into other door doors, five. but not door five. Can't all this white alone, no. and blood <laughs> doesn't mix. <laughs> okay. Anyone else willing to come with me? I'll go. 
What? Don't worry. You'll be fine. We're apart now, but I'm certain we'll meet again later. That's a death flag. No, how <laughs> do you know that? Because I do. That's not an answer. If you're going, I'm going to. I'm going to door five. <sighs> what am I going to do with you? Go with me to door five. There's nothing you have to do. If I join you, the problem is solved, correct? Seven is seven, snake is two. And if you add Clover's four and my one, the rule will be five. Seven plus two plus four plus one equals 14. There's a root of 14, one plus four equals five. Oh, it works perfectly. The four of us can go into door five. Wait, what about the other four? What's the other gonna be? Mm. Um, Lotus, Santa, June, and me. Our bracelet numbers are eight, three, six, and five. Eight, three, six, five. What would our digital root be? Can I math from here? Uh, let eight, me three, see. Six, five. Eight, plus three, three plus, plus six, plus five. And it was going to be 22. So that means so our root's going to be four. Okay. Interesting. Four. I did it. Eight plus three plus six plus five equals 22. So the digital root of 22, two plus two equals four. Math. It's four. <laughs> Add up our four bracelet numbers and the digital root is four. Then we can go into door four. Yeah. Huh, that worked out well. So the team sounds will be like this. Seven, Snake, Clover, and Ace. They would go through door five. That rhymes. <laughs> Lotus, Santa, June, and me will go through door four. Are these really the teams I want? Beyond door, door five is the <laughs> remains of the ninth man. I never want to see that thing again, but something's telling me that it'd be a good idea to examine the corpse. <laughs> He's a thing now. <laughs> Even just a little closer. Of course, if I went through door five, I wouldn't be going with Lotus and Santa. I could bring June with me through door five, but that means she'd have to see the body in there. I don't want to put her... That. Yeah, she almost passed out seeing it the first time. Should I stay silent and go through door four? Or should I stop them and insist on door five? All right, then. It seems we've reached a conclusion. Shall we go? I'm going through door five. We're over there, too, right, Snake? It was not going anywhere. Slow down. <laughs> I... Which door? Oh. So, are we going to go with door four or are we going to change up plans switch up the team orders go in five bring june with us um we can investigate the body but june's going to see a corpse and i'm sure that's going to be so great for her mental health uh... keep in mind at some point we will probably get, we're going to go through the other way wait wait let the other way later i don't want to do that to her <laughs> let's go through door four first Door four would be she fine. She almost passed out just seeing the blood. Like, homegirl can't function if we go through there. Exactly. So, four to the floor. I'll go through door four with Lotus, Sanja, and June. Yes. There's nothing to worry about. Literally all of my I just voices. need to stay by her side. <laughs> this should be fine. It's no problem this way. I should see the other four off before one of them never returns. No. <laughs> Uh, looks like Ace and the others are going. Good luck, guys. Everyone come back, please. Clover is really the only one I care about in that group anyway, so... <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I like Ace, though. <laughs> now then. I think I'm goodbye. biased towards the ones I'm voicing. <laughs> Very true. Be careful. Don't let that goodbye be like an actual <laughs> goodbye, you know? Ugh. So horrible. Just the sound of squatching as they walk in. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, there Jim, it we is. need to hurry. <laughs> Snake your shoes. It's fine. It's not like I'm going to see them anyways. Hurry. <laughs> Are you planning on dying with everyone else? I assume you haven't forgotten the door only remains open for nine seconds, have you? And it's closed. D sorry, Snake. Let's go. Kaboom. All right, that might have been Hopefully the last time we see someone. I don't know. Hey, hey, how is it over there? You dead yet? Did you find anything? At least say something, will you? Something's uh -oh. beeping. 
it's just like before. Well, the thing is that they start beeping, and then yeah. you have to scan the dead, and then it'll deactivate. Uh-huh. Probably the sound of the detonator on the bracelet. Do you think they're okay? No. Nah. <laughs> hey, there it is. It's gotta be the dead thing. Come on, get over here. We gotta authenticate. Whoa, okay. <laughs> the beeping stopped? Whoa, looks like it stopped. Hey guys, are you doing all right over there? Yep, we're fine. Oh, hey, I'm gonna tell you about this whole dead thing, okay? The dead is just like the red, but the color's different. You know how the red was red? <laughs> well, the dead is blue. Of course it is. Other than that, it's just like the red. Authenticating is the same too. Awesome, thanks. That helps a lot. Well, we should probably move Mon now. You be careful out there. Roger that. Interesting. All right, so they're okay. <sighs> now it's our turn. I'll go first. Okay, we ready? Yeah. Sure. Let's go. All right, let's go. What's behind it's door just number four? You and me and me and me. Yeah. <laughs> Run. Fancy. Oh, that's Whoa. a damn. It's counting down. Fucking book it. Find that thing. <laughs> Find it now. <laughs> Please don't actually be hiding. We can't go back. We need to hurry and find the device. Hey, where the hell is the dead? How would I know? Don't give me that crap. Start looking. I already am. Don't tell me the dead is in one of those rooms. Oh, God. oh no, how many rooms do you think there are? Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> we don't have time to count. We just need to open them all. It, it won't open. Shit, this one's no good. Same here. It's not moving. Ah. Uh, there it is. At the end of the hallway. Run. Hey, how many more seconds do we have? How would I know? Our time limit is 81 seconds. I know that, goddammit. I'm asking you how many seconds we have left. Hurry! It's the dead. Get over here. Come on, everyone. Oh, Jesus. Boy, if you ever need an adrenaline rush, just... <laughs> <laughs> just do it for fun one day. <sighs> Whew. Looks like it stopped. This is like my entire range for my face, <laughs> yeah. all in th three. I need some, some liquid, hold on. <laughs> There's another door at the end of the hallway. Let's try this one first. And there's a light. I get to show off my, <clears throat> my, my voice talents. <laughs> there you go. In this episode, apparently. And of course it won't open. Not just episode, however long it takes to do this. A one. keyhole? What's this mark? Mail? No, not exactly. That's probably the symbol of Mars. Well, technically, they are the same symbol. But I saw a number of similar symbols near the main stairway. The symbols of the solar system. Oh, that's right. The sun, Saturn, yep, yep. and Earth. At least, that's what I'm assuming. So this isn't the man symbol? It's a symbol for Mars? The man symbol. <laughs> I think so, yes. I see. <laughs> Wait. Where's Santa? Oh no. Yeah, so I looked the place over. Here's the deal. None of the other doors open. Then that must mean... We only have two more doors. Maybe it's the room number? The door on the left has B92. The one on the right says B93. Alright, let's open them. I'll open B92. Okay, I'll get B93 then. One, two, three! You know what's funny? When, like, the, the, the I want to say something. Okay. When, uh, they were all, like, rushing to find where the dead was. Yeah. I didn't look at, like, the, you know how their pictures show up when they're talking? Yeah. I used my peripheral vision to see who was talking. Nice. Instead of looking to stop to read the, the hey, uh, it opened. Uh, yeah, it did. I didn't expect that. 
It was so easy. Maybe this is all part of Zero's plan? I can't say I enjoy being treated like someone's puppet. <sighs> well, now we have these two rooms. I'm sure there's something in there that will help us get out of here. Let's find it. Santa and I will search this room. You two take the other one. All right. Okay. There's a... Okay, that's a oh. lot. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Seek a way out. My God. Eight locks. <laughs> Sounds like fucking ape escape music. Anyways. Um, what escape? <laughs> ape escape from the I've, PlayStation 1. I've never had a PlayStation 1. Don't worry, I'll introduce you to it soon. Jumpy, where are you going? Um, I was thinking of going over to Lotus's room. Do you think maybe you could look around here a little more before you go? There's a lot for me to do here all by myself. Okay, I'm not leaving yet. That face looks expensive. I wonder how much we can get for it. Are you gonna steal it? <laughs> I like oh my her. God. <laughs> Okay, wild art. This is kind of a weird looking picture. Do you think it's an abstract painting or something? It looks kind of like a demon with an elephant-like nose sucking on a human being's brain. Where the hell did that come from? What's your <laughs> brain made of? Is this a Rorschach test? <laughs> Can't say I'd mind finding out a little more about what goes on in there. Huh, weird. <laughs> uh, there's a vase over here. Oh, that rotated me. Okay, so everything I can look at, I have to go through here. Ah! Uh, Jumpy, what are you doing? I'm sitting. Can't you see that? We don't have the time to be relaxing on a sofa. Ah, fine. It's a display case. But there's nothing to be being displayed here. How sad. Looks like the drawers are empty, too. Nothing to steal. Darn. It's a table made of wood. Hey, there's something here. Looks like a box of matches. Matches? I'll take the matches. Matches. Search it. It's a box. Oh, it's geez. a box of matches. There are matches inside, obviously. You would hope so. <laughs> There's a human oh, yeah. finger. How's your fever? Are you feeling better now? Yes, I'm fine. Let me see your forehead. Oh. I guess it really has gone down. Are you worried about me? Yeah, I guess yeah. I am. <laughs> yeah, I guess I am. <laughs> By the way, Jumpy? Hmm? How did you end up here? What do you mean? I told you earlier, didn't I? There was a man with a gas this, mask. Oh. Oh, wait. Never mind. Yeah, no, no. yeah. There was a man with a gas mask when you got home at night. You inhaled some white smoke and passed out. When you woke up, there were you were on D-deck. Damn straight. <laughs> <laughs> Damn straight. <laughs> Damn straight. <laughs> but is that really the truth? What? Jumpy, are you hiding something from me? No, why would I? Well, if you think about it, this is awfully suspicious. I mean, why would two childhood friends bump into each other in a place like this? Hey, I could ask you the same thing. Are you hiding something? Oh boy. <laughs> what would I hide? Well, I don't know. Anything. I mean, you're hiding it. How would I know? You mean like, the number of men I've dated? Oh, I just want- <laughs> Do you want to know? Don't worry. Only 18. A good. <laughs> Time zero. Yeah, <sighs> I guess I just haven't met Mr. Wright yet. Mr. Phoenix Wright? I I see. I understand. <laughs> He's my husband. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm not hiding anything. Just like you, Jumpy. When I woke up, I was on D-Deck. Well, you do have a point. I mean, why did Zero pick us? We haven't seen each other since elementary school. Maybe he's a fan of one of those, you know, childhood friends to lovers tropes and he wants to see it happen. You mean this whole thing is just a vehicle to build, like, fan fiction ship dynamics? That's Probably. all this is? Yeah. I mean, Weird. hmm, I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> Look for what connects the victims. That will lead you to the culprit. Do you remember Seven saying something like that? Yeah, I do. So? Well, that's what I'm saying. I think this must all have something to do with a classmate of ours. You got any ideas oh, who it might you, you be? Got, Never mind. You got any ideas who it might be? <laughs> no, nothing. Shit. It doesn't no. help when my name is in your name. Well, if it <laughs> had something to do with school, then it could be one of our teachers. Or maybe the principal. Or the janitor or the lunch lady. The lunch lady for sure. No, I can barely remember any of them. Yeah, I know. 
Anyways, back to action. The, this door, does it open? Oh god, okay. It takes it to the bedroom now. A wooden cupboard. There are cups inside, surprising no one. And a jar. It's a bottle with water in it. This is a bedroom. They probably have it here because your throat always feels dry when you wake up, you know? Absolutely. Yes! <laughs> oh my god! My, my throat's dry, <laughs> but I think that's because I'm a little nervous right now. <laughs> well, we did run a lot, so we're kind of sweaty. I mean, we're just kind of here in the bedroom. Alone. We can play Uno together! Did you want to take a shower together? I uh, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Just kidding. I, I was kidding too. Too late to take it back. My brain's already working out the picture. Oh my god. <laughs> my throat was dry already. This sure isn't helping. <laughs> it's light. Oh, I can actually look at the light. It's light. <laughs> even, if, even if it's heavy? That's light. Roof. <laughs> you mean ceiling? <laughs> you always call ceilings roofs. A roof is what's outside. Do you know what? It's not a painting, but this isn't a painting either. Is it a map? It looks like a, it looks like the deck it of the boat. It looks like a map of the ship's interior. Oh, this is a great find. I think it'll be really useful. Let's take it with us. It is not possible to use the map screen. Map screen. The map screen can only be viewed during the story sections. While on the map screen, you can examine a map of the ship's floor plan, which you will acquire over the course of the story. Of the but story. The left stick and A will allow you to see a bird's eye view of that room. Well, and it's gone. This ship is bigger than I thought. Yeah, it's probably about 900 feet long. Must be one of those fancy cruise ships. Of course, it doesn't really look like a cruise ship. Everything in here is really retro, even if it's just sort of some sort of style choice. There's just too much. Do you remember what Zero said about the Titanic? On April 14th, 1912, the famous ocean liner Titanic crashed into an iceberg. After remaining afloat for two hours and 40 minutes, it sank beneath the waters of the North Atlantic. Do you think maybe this boat and the Titanic have something to do with each other? Mm, that's a good point. I thought he would have mentioned it if there wasn't a reason. Hmm. Do you think this boat is... A replica of the Titanic? The actual no, Titanic? God. A replica? <laughs> A replica of the Titanic? A replica? Yeah, you know, like a copy of the actual boat. Who on earth would make something like that? Fucking rich people. <laughs> fans? Crazy Titanic fans? No way! Do you even know how much money that would take? No idea. But all they've got to do is break even, you know? Break even? Yeah, they could use it as a cruise ship. Climb aboard a piece of history, sail around the world in the resurrected Titanic. Aren't the, they doing uh, that? The irony of the fact that that's already a thing that I think is close to being done. Yeah, they've been working on that they've for a while They've horribly called it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Who is going to want to go? It's going to be a full-on experience. Just wait for it. Oh. <laughs> Hell, with marketing like that, they'd probably have more customers than they know what to do with. Do you really think people would want to ride on a ship with such an ominous past? Millions have already probably pre-ordered their tickets <laughs> yeah. for it. It's the site of the worst accident in history. Over 1,500 people died. I wouldn't be surprised if you'd get cursed just for going. A curse, huh? Jumpy, do you believe in that sort of thing? You know, curses and stuff? I do. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess so. To a certain extent. What about you? Nah, I guess it's kind of a dumb question. <laughs> you didn't even wait for... Yes, I do believe in curses. In fact, I think it was a curse that sunk the Titanic. What? A curse sank the Titanic. Oh boy, here you go. The curse of the Egyptian mummy. Supposedly, the Titanic carried the mummy of the priestess Amun-Ra, which was stolen from a pyramid. Oh. And they say that the mummy had a history. Everyone involved with it died mysterious deaths. Come on, I'm sure you've heard of it before. Those who open the coffin will forever be forever cursed. Haven't you ever heard that one? So you're saying that the Titanic sunk because of that curse? That's right! That mummy, the priestess, supposedly she was special. What do you mean? Well, supposedly she was really pretty. Pretty? Yes. That's it? But <laughs> she was a mummy. That's right. She wasn't all shriveled up or rotten or anything. She almost looked alive. What if it was just a fake tomb and someone was just sitting in there? <laughs> but, uh, okay, I, I get it, okay? It's, it's, the, it's that thing. I don't remember the name where your body turns into some kind of wax. Yeah? <laughs> the fat and it turns into something kind of like candle wax, right? And Ugh. Yes, saponification. That's that's not what it was. Huh? 
That's not it. She wasn't wax. Then what? Then, then what is it? <laughs> they say that she was frozen. What? Frozen? That's right. The whole body was frozen solid. You know how a human body is more than 60% water? Uh-huh. Well, all of that water was frozen. The story says that from time from the time of its discovery all the way through to when it got put on the Titanic, even though it was carried through the, through the desert, her body never melted. That's crazy. I think so too, but maybe it's true and we just didn't know about it before. I didn't know? Yep, maybe it's common sense to eat shaved ice in the desert because it lasts forever. Huh? <laughs> no, that, that just <laughs> seems si too about? silly to be true. But maybe it isn't. It just appears that way because you didn't know it was true. Uh, well... <laughs> what, what is this conversation? <laughs> ice that doesn't melt even in the desert. Does something like that really exist? Now, even if it did, it wouldn't really be ice anymore, would it? Hmm. What the fuck is this? What was that conversation? <laughs> it was lore. Titanic lore. <laughs> and you know what? We will continue through this room and try and solve oh. the puzzle of door number four next time. God, that was... <laughs> what a... What a hell of a conversation. <laughs> oh, boy.